Hello, and welcome to Spirit Travels, where we narrate the extraordinary experiences of people who have glimpsed the other side of death. My name is Maureen, and I will be your narrator on this journey. If you enjoy this content, please make sure to like and subscribe to support our channel. Now let's begin. Today's experience is by Mukurarinda. I was in a boarding high school. One day, I got sick because malaria was rampant in this area. When I was taken to hospital, there was no sickness detected in my body, but I was growing weaker and weaker. The doctor told my father to take me home so that I could be traditionally treated because chemical products could not help me. I was taken home. After only three days, I became mad. I started to scream and speak in a loud voice day and night. My parents took me back to the hospital. In the car on the way, the car could not continue because of some technical problem. I was taken instead to a small clinic for treatment. I was always in a loud voice and talking about a number of things. I was administered and given a needle with a medication to help me sleep. I slept then without waking up. While sleeping, I saw a bright light. I was very thirsty and I saw a big tree and inside the tree was a bottle full of water. I then saw a hand holding that bottle and the hand brought it from the tree. A voice told me, drink. Like a vaccination drop, it fell in my mouth and my whole being was refreshed. I didn't need to drink the whole bottle, just a drop. Then I started to see many things. I saw a ladder from earth to heaven and I saw people from all countries ascended on it. While at heaven's gate, which was closed, I saw myself alone before that gate. Then a man opened the gate for me and asked me, Are you coming into heaven? I said, Yes. He widely opened for me, and I entered heaven. I didn't know where others had gone. If I left them behind or if they went ahead of me, I do not know. The man who opened the gate had many keys on his right hand. From the fingers to the shoulder, many keys indeed. He directed me in which room I will go. I went and entered that room and found there Jesus Christ. He welcomed me in his office and had me sit before him, while in between was a small table. Before anything, he stretched out a file with some papers on it, and he started to read everything I had done on earth until the time I ascended to heaven. Then he closed the file and asked me, Do you agree to have done this while on earth? I accepted all. While reading them, it was like a video, or like you are doing it in that moment. There's no way to reject it whatsoever. He told me, I want you to go back to earth. There is something I want you to do. After you will finish it, you will come back here in heaven and live here forever. I said, no, I want to stay here. And he said, no, just go back. I said, no, I want to stay here. He spoke in a cool voice and convinced me to go back to earth. Before I left heaven, I asked him one thing, which he granted me. I asked him to let me go into the heavens and see what it is there and come back on earth. I went into the heavens. The first people I saw were angels singing, no taller than the others. All were on the same level of height. There were no musical instruments, no drums, but their voices were more vibrant than artificial instruments. My impression was to go and sing with them, so I stepped ahead to join the choir. But a certain invisible power, very strong, stopped me from joining the choir. 
I cried tears because I could not sing with the angels that time. Those who were near the body in the clinic could see tears, but they did not know why. They told me after. Then I chose to move around in heaven. Beyond the choir was a very wonderful place with a big chair and the one sat on it. I could not reach there since I could not even join the choir. While I was taking a walk in that beautiful garden into the heaven, Jesus came to me and told me, Don't you remember that you need to go back? I said, Yes. He showed me the way back from the heavens to his near office, then to the gate. The man who opened for me while entering, he opened for me to get out of heaven, but at this moment he asked me nothing. While I stepped out to the gate, he closed the gate and I started to descend from the ladder. While on the ladder, I met someone who was like me. If I tell you, I don't remember which form I had, only I was a powerful being, full of vigor, without any need whatsoever for food, drink, or clothes. I was amazing. The person I met was the person who, in few minutes, passed away. I was told by onlookers in the clinic after. He was in the same clinic room with me. He asked me what happened to me in heaven and I told him. I asked him what was happening on earth. He asked me to open up my eyes and see the earth where we are. What a dirty place. What a confusing place. I was too clean, too holy to step on the earth. While discussing, I advised him to go up into heaven. Maybe they would accept him. I told him that I was going down on earth to do something which I would know while back on earth. I kissed him goodbye and I stepped down on earth. While coming near where my body was, just on a sick bed, I saw my body. Meanwhile, the doctors had declared the previous night at 8 p.m. that I had passed away. It was the night when he said so, but when I came back, it was the next morning at 7 a.m. I looked at my body. I just uttered insulting words to it. It's a useless thing that one doesn't need to waste time on. Very stupid. I had to enter the body that time and I didn't want it because of the uselessness of the body. I had no choice other than entering the body. I cannot tell how I entered the dead body, but it was like when you put your hand into your pocket. I entered the body, remembered what the doctor had said that I had passed away. My death story was spread in the village. It was very sad that a man lost his firstborn son and they sought a burial place in the village. Now as I entered in the body, I made a slight movement by my hand to an aunt that came in the clinic, crying tears and mourning, holding my body. She is the one that announced that I was alive again. Doctors, nurses, social workers, everybody ran to the room where I was with fear. Surprisingly, when doctor examined me, he confessed that I was alive again. He apologized for the news about my death that he spread before. But look at me, that time. You could see bones of my body through a transparent skin. I didn't know how 15 days had gone by while I was there. I spent more days there starting to eat like a baby. They had to carry me out and bring me inside, just like a skeleton. While having those visions, I saw other things, like people being killed because they were sinners. I made a cue to be killed, but someone I do not know told the killers that he knew me, so I was spared. But hundreds upon thousands died. When I gained normal strength, I sat people around me, especially those killed because of their sins. Much blood was scattered everywhere. 
but they told me to shut up because, to them, I was like prophesying evil upon the peaceful country. When I told them about heaven, they couldn't believe, but I assured them that everything they do, heaven counts it, and for sure that this life is a shadow. If a great life, we shall enter in eternity. Thirteen years went by, and I was engulfed by a strange fear. I was asking the Lord, What do you want me to do, Lord? It was a good time to remember that I was told to come back on earth and do something, and then go back to live in heaven. Then one night, the Lord called to preach the truth or His word, and tell people about the reality of the future life, which I am doing today. Thank you for listening. If you have had an NDE that you would like to share, please email us at travelsinthespirit at gmail.com. Until next time, God bless.